The big question really is, is how different were Neanderthals from us? So the popular view is that there's these nasty, brutish, sort of robust individuals. Well, they were certainly physically robust. They had sort of very tough habitats to live in, and they got up very close and personal with their food. They were sort of having to stab mammoths and, and bison and things with sharp wooden spears. So their skeletons show lots of physical damage from that sort of injury from actually being kicked and bashed around by their by their, essentially by their lunch. Neanderthals were, were very different in that sense, but what were they like as human beings? And there's lots of questions about, could, did they have language? Could they understand a speech like this? Um, did they have religion? Did they have sort of beliefs? Did they care for their elderly? Did they care for each other? And the jury's out on, on a lot of these issues. Um, Neanderthals do certainly seem to care for each other. Um, the site I'm currently involved in excavating in, in Kurdistan, in Iraq, shows that a Neanderthal who was buried there was essentially lame. He'd lost his right arm just above the elbow in youth and carried on to live to the same old age as, as, as the average Neanderthal adult would do. This is a population who have to keep moving to keep access to their food. So their you know, mobility is crucial to them. And here's someone who probably would have held them back, and yet he's been able to be supported and carried through and is actually you know, buried on site. Uh, with all the respect that any, any, you might expect from anybody else. So Neanderthals lasted essentially from, for uh, maybe more than 200, 250,000 years. So they've actually, sort of, so far, they, they've lived longer than we have. We tend to think of ourselves, because we're here, they're not, as, as being smarter than them. They, you know, they did pretty well in some very tough conditions. Um, the fact we're here now, yes, shows that we, we were better adapted ultimately but equally, some of the, one of the things that may have made us better adapted, particularly in Europe, is the fact we actually interbred with Neanderthals. We picked up some of their genes. The sort of Europeans carried something between two and four percent of their DNA inherited from Neanderthals. So we may have inherited th things like um, resistance to European type diseases from Neanderthals, which then gave us an advantage. But we also seem to have picked up some other things that may make us more prone to uh, things like diabetes. The Neanderthals had a very sort of meat-rich diet. When you come along with modern human diets, which are more diverse, um, perhaps those genes aren't quite so advantageous. But they're not so bad as to uh, kill us off, so we carry on keeping those, those particular uh, genes. So Neanderthals were very like us in some ways, very different from us in other ways. And that's part of the challenge, trying to use the archaeological record we have to be able to ident identify where those similarities and differences really lie.